the bloke said I'd hear within a couple of weeks. I thought it was just a formality. Oh, Mum. They never even hinted they'd say no, not once. Sunita took those keys and that amounts to a break-in. So why are they refusing, then? Because I left the keys behind the bar unsecured. Oh, Mum. I already owe him 15 grand. And the check I gave him's gonna bounce. Well, are you sure the bank won't cover it? No, oh, even if they did, I haven't got enough to finish the repairs. We're gonna be homeless. £20 double. Pretty dancer, limpet lad. Sure. Fiver, winter's tail to win. Yes, mate. Uh, what are we to pay out if I make it each way? Um, Actually, do you know what? Make it a tenner, cos I am feeling lucky. Me too. I think I'll be coming into some money later. <laughs> New boy. Yeah, bless him. Hey, do you need a hand? No. Come on, come on. They're nearly in the stalls here. Uh, 395. Yeah. Make it each way, sunshine. All right, son. Come on, stick the kettle on, son. Something simple, eh? <laughs> simple. Happy day? Yeah. Well, I couldn't fit happy first day back at work for a while in. What do you think? Do you think it needs more? Are you told you were fine, Mum. I am. I'm just making a cake. Like you've been icing like a maniac for the last two hours. <gasps> look, when I do something, I like to do it well. Yeah, but it just doesn't look... Don't even think about it. Maybe if I did a flower. Does Carl know? No. You can't bring yourself to tell him. <sighs> well, I don't blame you. Look, I'm sorry, Mum, but do you really think he's going to stick around now he's lost his meal ticket? Is that how you think he sees me? As some bag of cash? No, no, look, I didn't mean it like that. Yes, you did. Right, yeah, all right, then I did. He stole your money, he gambled it all away, and then he left you for somebody else. It's more complicated than that. Oh. You know that. He's a scrounger who doesn't give two hoots for anybody but himself. People make mistakes. They learn and then they change. Oh, no, they don't. Not people like him. Oh, what, and you've never made mistakes in your life? I can think of a few. Uh, I think that's a bit different. Oh, really? What gives you the right to sit there and make judgment? Uh, the way he spoke to me. Oh, right, right. Well, I get it. You need to grow up, Leanne. He's a vicious scumbag, and why you can't see that is beyond me. You don't know him. We've had years together you know nothing about. Yeah? And whose fault's that? <laughs> oh, I can see him wasting my time here. Eighty-five. I told you I was feeling lucky. Pretty dancer, pretty donkey more like. <laughs> and his toy toy's going to run faster. Uh, I'm adding my loss to what you owe me. How's that brew coming on? I don't owe you anything yet. Hey, 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 what's this? I've had a little wager on uh, the new boy throwing in the towel. He's still here, so I win. No, no, end of the day we said I will have him out by closing time. <laughs> Ah, oh, cheers, Rob. Hey, hang in there, buddy. Hey, a little tip for you. Get yourself a calculator. Not for everybody, this job. Horses for courses, you know. If you want to quit, there's no shame in that. Carla would understand. Maybe you're right. Yeah. But I wouldn't give you that satisfaction. Yours is in the kettle. You OK? Have been better. Mm. So Leanne leaving, she didn't look too happy. Yeah, we had a row. About me, wasn't it? Look, I know she hates my guts, but whatever she it's said... It's not Leanne. She twists things. I mean, I don't know what I've done, honestly. Sit down, Carl. Oh, oh you're having second thoughts about us, aren't you? OK, I'll stop pushing. No! The insurance company won't pay out. What? They rejected my claim, they said, because the keys were unsecured. I can't pay Owen. Everything's gone. Oh, sweetheart. How long have you known? Since Monday. What? Why didn't you tell me? Because I couldn't quite believe it myself. You told Leanne? Yeah, and I wish I hadn't. But you didn't tell me. Why? What did you think I was going to say? I don't know. What are you going to say? 
Tommy, do us a brew, will ya? <laughs> it's your turn, I'm in the last one. Yeah, well, I've got to crack on with this. Hey, you insulted me last time. Did I? Yeah, you said. <laughs> Still can't make a decent brew. <laughs> oh, well, practice makes perfect. All right, do us a favour. Get us some bickies and all, will ya? Does the sir want anything else? Um. No, that's that. Oh, working hard, I see. I'm just getting some biscuits, is that OK? Oh, take your time, where's it going? Uh, yeah, I've done the brakes and the front wheel. I'm just checking the play in the rear one. Is that bad? Well, it's going to need a bearing. But I promised Dorothy I'd visit her and I can't mess her about because she gets very confused, poor thing. I'll get it done. Well, I think we should make alternative arrangements. If Tyrone says it'll be done, it'll be done. I trust him. Thank you, Hayley. You can pick it up at six. Thanks. Come on. That car is finished by six. I'll eat my hat. He's going to be out of here quicker than you can say Gamblers Anonymous. And that's a bad thing? Oh, no. That's the best thing that could happen. Exactly. We should be celebrating. Yeah, but the worst thing is, he's making me out to be the villain. She believes him. Okay, oh, I, I hate him for what he's doing to us. Evening all. You're early. Sal and Slack. Not with these hands. <laughs> no, uh, I've just come to see if I could possibly do Carly's evening shifts. Only for a couple of weeks. I know, sir. Talk about this. We'll manage. Uh, will we? You know how busy we are with pub shop. Yeah, and to be honest, we could do with the extra cash. Carly all right with it? Yeah, yeah, of course she is. All right, then. Just don't want to repeat it last time. No, 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 I was a mess back then. Besides, I'm doing it for my wife and kid now, huh? Cheers. Right, toilet floor's finished. Good. And I want this place cleared up before we start plastering tomorrow. Hello. This boss. Owen oh, Armstrong, hello. Are you sure? No, no, I certainly will. Right, OK, thanks. Second thought, you've all worked hard today, so you can knock off an hour early. Seriously? Yeah, go on, before I change my mind. Do it. Tell me twice. Come <laughs> cool, on, man. Okay. Is that what you really think? That I'm just after you for the pub? No. I don't, I don't know. Blimey. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't think that. Well, clearly, you do. <sighs> Leanne just muddled my brain, that's all. Well, why does that not surprise me? But you can't understand why she's worried. Come on, I know I've messed up, I know I've let you down, but I mean, how long am I going to have to beg for your forgiveness? It's not like that. <sighs> I thought I proved how much I love you. You have. So why am I still here feeling accused? And maybe Leanne's right. If you don't trust me, maybe you're better off without me. No. Perhaps I should get out of your life. Carl. You know, you are the only woman that I have ever loved. And I don't care if we don't have a penny to our name and we'll live in a cardboard box. I'll even paint it. Not just promise to and never get round to it. You might just have to. We'll think of something. If it is still we. It is. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hey! I know you're in there! I've just had the bank on the phone. Your cheque's bounced. What's going on, love? Look, the thing is, Owen... There's been a clerical error. The insurance company phoned, apologised. What does that mean? Well, got the claim numbers mixed up, sent our cheque to someone else, uh, But they're sorting it and we'll get our money soon. When? A couple of days, Max. My boys haven't been paid for three weeks. They've got families to feed, so have I. Yeah, well, like I said, mate, uh, it'll be sorted. Will it? Do I have your word? Yeah. All right, then, great. I'll let myself out. What did you say that for? It was time to think of something. Like what? God, you can be so rude, that man. Hey, look what I picked up in candles. I don't usually do green, but it's 50% cashmere. Hmm. What's the matter? I think you'd better sit down, Mum. Oh. There you are. Cheers. 
And a glass of red wine, please, for his gorgeous girlfriend. Just small or large? Silly question. <laughs> right, come on then. How was day five in the Big Brother house? It was an attempted eviction. Hey. There you are. That'll be... hang on. Oh, come on. Hey, give him a break. He's doing his best. Yeah, all right, Tiger. Calm down. Seven eighty. Do you want any olives or...? No, sir. Keep in touch. Thanks. What's happened? Your brother's a snake. Yeah, well, that runs in the family, I'm afraid. Then again, so do great lengths. I found my car's back in school. He's really upset you, hasn't he? Evening, Al. Not a word. I told you, they've gone home. Well, maybe they're on a break. Well, you just have to get me on the bus now. Oh, oh hello. I was just coming to see you. <laughs> They left your keys in the office. Oh. Anyway, it's all done. Plus, I've changed the oil and topped up your art. Oh, Ty, that's brilliant. Thank you. No problem. We'll sort the paperwork out Monday. Yeah, of course. Oh, thanks again. <laughs> Enjoy your trip, Sylvia. So, will it be the woolly hearts you're eating or your floppy summer one? What are you doing? I thought that was for Paul. No, he's not here, is he? Where is he? How should I know? Finished his shift an hour ago. Ma'am, you can't carry on like this. You've got to be honest with him. And say what? I'm still a paranoid freak who can't cope with your job? Well, maybe not in them words. Well, what good's it going to do? Well, it'll let him know how you feel for the start. Your generation think talking is the answer to everything. It isn't. Sometimes it's best just to... Keep calm and carry on eating cake? Yeah. Well, what's the difference between that and lying? About 2,000 calories. Ah! Oh. Oh. Hey! Hey, gorgeous. Blimey. I made you cake, but then you didn't come back. I got hungry. Yeah, sorry, I would have run, but, um, would have ruined the surprise. <sighs> You're telling me you let Owen do 15 grand's worth of work before you'd heard from the insurance company? Yeah, well, I thought... And you wrote him a cheque, knowing it was going to bounce? I thought the bank would cover it. Oh, you've done some daft things in your time, Stella, but this text the biscuit. Right, it's not her fault. Well, whose fault is it, then? Yeah, she's right. I am an idiot. Why didn't you just lie? <sighs> Tell them you didn't know how she got the keys. Because I'd already told the police. So what are you going to do, then? I don't know. But it's not going to help you having a go at me, is it, Mum? Yeah, leave her alone, Gloria. <sighs> don't worry, love, we'll think of something. Oh, what, like, buy a lottery ticket? We're going to have to come clean. Um, there must be a way. I don't want you gambling. The thought never crossed my mind. Promise me? No, no my gambling days are done, I swear. What we need is investors. Well, like who? I don't know, we've got some cash round here. I mean, Carla, I bet she's got a bob or two. Rita, she'll have some savings. Carl, I am not going capping and begging round the streets. Well, why not, if we have to? Because I've got me pride still, even if you haven't. The answer's staring you in the face. Who? Leanne! I, I mean, she's got all that money she got from the bookies. Why not go into partnership with her mother? Uh, no, no, I don't think that's a good idea. It's a perfect idea. No, family, it's messy. Oh, give over. Family businesses are the best business you can have. Guaranteed loyalty when the chips are down. Which, in case you've forgotten, they are now. Well, it's not a bad idea, but I don't think she'll go for it. Oh, why not? She's got all that money sitting in the bank. We've had a row. Oh, what about? Oh, not again. What about this time? Well, she just doesn't like me, and I don't know why. She's just being protective, that's all. Yeah, that's one word for it. Well, you're just going to have to go groveling, you know. Play to her ambition. Tell her she can run the place. Be the landlady, if she likes. You can't let her do that. Well, you don't have to let her do it. You just get her on side. That is pretty ruthless, Mum. Well, it's a good pub. She'll earn money. You're hardly ripping her off. Maybe. No. No, I don't like it. Oh, well, have you got a better idea? <laughs> there you are, ladies and gents. Cheers. Enjoy. Thank you. Hey. Should I be jealous? You what? That you seem to only have eyes for my brother, is it? Oh, no, I'm just uh, pleased to see him so happy. 
So it's working out, then? Yes, we're getting there. And you're listening to him and encouraging him? Oh, yeah. I uh, taught him a little bit of calculation today. Oh, and it was me worried you were still sulking. No, business, babe. It's just business. Mm. Mm. If David ever comes back, order me a salad. I'm just going to wash my hands. I don't see him crying into his pint. Does that mean you owe me a 20? It's all right. Come on, come on, come on, hand it over. You know, as a bookie, you shouldn't make bets that you can't win. Shh. As you're doing business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on here, then? <laughs> oh, it's a Steve, Steve what's what we call it. it. You bought well, a coat off me. Earlier. Come on, I can't stand the suspense. Here you go, then. Ta-da! What is it? An envelope. <laughs> Open it. London? First class? Yeah, well, if we're going to see Todd, we might as well do it in style. We're, uh, we're booked into a hotel Thursday, and then he's taking us out on the town. Uh, you've spoken to him? Yeah. Uh, Friday, we've seen a musical, and then he's cooking dinner for us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the reaction I wanted. I won't mind. You hate musicals. It's a lovely surprise. Well, I figured if I'm going to make an honest woman of you... <laughs> Sorry. Then I thought I ought to get to know my son-in-law. I am going to get on with your brother, aren't I? Oh, I'm sure you'll sweep him off his feet like you have the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Black pepper? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> Oi, wind your neck in. I can't let him treat you like this. Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything, though. Well, have you told Carla? I'm not going crying to my sister, am I? And don't you dare, either. Right. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Make him sorry? Do you know what the problem is? You're too similar. Uh, you are. Um, and there's your fries. Enjoy. No. I'm not going to apologise to him, no way. Well, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. He could be an asset. Let's be honest. The only reason you put him in the book is because you don't want him in the factory. Maybe. But he's got a good head. He knows how to make money. So have I. <clears throat> Not recently. Oh, come on. Well, he can help you. I don't need his help, Carla. You know what? If you stop puffing out your little feathers for a minute, you might actually get on with him. These are your chips. Don't change the subject. Do you know what I think you should do? No, seriously. I think you should have, like, a lad's night out. You know, do a bit of male bonding. This isn't sex in the city. Hey, David, I ordered some chips. No, I thought I brought them. No. no. Look, your brother is complacent and lazy, and we've got nothing in common. He's just mouthy, impulsive, with an outward swagger that's just hiding it's all right, a deep all right. inside. Sorry, mate. I think there is. Oh, keep him. No, no, honestly. No, I, I don't want them. No, I wouldn't be that petty. Look, will someone have these flaming chips? Okay. <laughs> Everything all right? No, it's not. Sorry. No, no, mate, you should go home. You look dead in your feet. No, I... Yeah, Friday's always money. Don't worry, I'll pay you in full. Right, OK, I'll get an early night and I'll be on it tomorrow, I promise. How many more toys are you going to throw out your pram, OK? Will you just give him a chance, will you? All right, all right. Anything for a quiet life, OK? She's hungry. Hi, babe. How was work? Uh, yeah, great. You look exhausted. I'll go on your tea up. No, it's all right. I'll do it. You rest. No, I've done it all day. Oh, that's certainly true. <sighs> Not long now. Oh, I can't wait. I'm fed up with feeling like a giant space hopper. No, you're just a little space hopper. Hmm. Actually, I am going to go for 40 winks. OK. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hope you had a nice evening. Got there in the end. <laughs> I'm expecting a big thank you. Mm, well, I'm sure that can be arranged. Mm. Oh, great. Deep breath, count to ten. Sorry, we're fully booked. Oh, we haven't come here to eat. Well, I hope you're not coming here to chat, cos I'm busy. Oh, Mum, come on, forget it. Uh, no, you came here to ask your daughter something important, and I think you should ask her. <clears throat> no, it, it doesn't feel right. Right, well... Your mother would like you to invest in your future together. You are? The money you got from the bookies. 
Why not invest it in the Rovers? I do feel bad, you know. What about? There's so much to choose from. Well, should I tell him to stop working at the bistro? I don't think it'd make any difference. He wants to prove he's strong enough to look after his family. He didn't have to prove out to me, he knows that. To you. To himself. I could have a word with Nick. I think you and Nick have done quite enough behind David's back. Well, then what should I do? Just be kind to him. Thank you, lucky stars, you've got such a devoted husband. You should think about it. Oh, badging in in the middle of a shift, demanding me life savings. What's to think about? It makes good business sense. I don't care. I know you've had an argument. She's your mum. You know, you never forgive yourself if you didn't have her out. All right. What? Well, I'll give you the money. Well, I'll invest it in the pub. <laughs> Oh, sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. I mean, I know we've... I'm on condition. You get rid of him. Excuse me? Well, I'm not giving you my money just so he can steal it again. Are you serious? You will look like I'm joking. It's him or the Rovers. Your choice. Next up here on ITV is the concluding part of the Ice Cream Girls. While over on ITV2, Simon Pegg takes no prisoners in his quest to clean up a quaint country village in hot fuzz. On ITV3 next, a sneaky peek behind the scenes at the world of Wexford in Super Sleuths. And on ITV4, the psychological thriller Manhunter.